Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm opening a beautiful stationary bento box from the Philippines um, and I'll have all the links to this um, shop in the description box below so please check them out. Now over the next um, yeah, few weeks, pretty much November all the way up to the 25th of December, I'm going to be doing lots of review videos so things that you could buy for paper lovers or for yourself um, leading up to Christmas. So yeah as I mentioned, I'll have all links in the description box below. You should definitely check them out. And here's the box. I've, I've, I've been so excited for weeks. Um, the customer service uh, around this box has been amazing. Definitely 10 out of 10 because they've been updating me through the whole process. So since I bought it to putting it together, photos of what it's gonna look like um, have all been sent to me. And then I've had updates with all the invoices and the shipping and they've just been fantastic. So I've been so excited. And look at all these goodies. There's so many extras as well I can't wait to open all this up um, but I thought I would open this one first and then jump into the extras so I don't know if I mentioned at the start but the box is the paperies box and oh what's this this is lovely does that go on top there I don't know I'll have to read later what everything else is. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. So I'm going to start with these pretty papers on top and there's so many dried flowers. I can't believe this made it through customs. So we have these really beautiful handmade papers. And you can see all the flowers pressed inside of them. So next we have these like really pretty botanical, they kind of look like ticket stubs. I really like these, these would be perfect for the front of mail art. I adore how everything's wrapped. It's all so pretty. Or just pretty papers to maybe even rip up. Lovely. Okay, I think I wanna choose something from this side because it's a lot bigger. Okay, I'm gonna have to start ripping some of these. Oh no, I wanted to keep them. So this is a whole stack of like mini stamps. And again, little botanical stamps. And then underneath we had some more in a little baggie, which I think these boxes might be handmade because they said local artists made a lot of these. These are so pretty, the wrapping around it's all like natural fibers. So we have this little airmail stamp, a rubber stamp. That's really cute. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to use all these products. So this is the first washi tape and that's the little stamps that I got. So they'd be really cute to put on presents as well. Oops. So it's like a black and brown stripe. I don't know if I would have ever selected this from a shop if I was stationary shopping, but I think it would be nice to wrap presents in. And it's actually not a washi tape because it's not sticky on the back. So it's kind of like a masking tape where you'd peel off. But these colours would be really beautiful in vintage spreads. Alrighty, so the next washi tape is... Oh, what is this? This looks really, really cute. These could possibly be handmade because I've never seen these before. And look at the alphabet, how lovely. That one's so random, there's a question mark. So the wrapping is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, they're handmade tags. What a lovely idea. And it's showing you how to even use the like the little ticket stubby things and um, making your own 
little tags for people. This is so cute. And look, they've included some like beautiful lace. So I think you can actually take this lace off the tags and reuse them. So everything they've used to decorate, they're also gifting. So these beautiful stickers as well. These would have taken so long to make, these boxes. There's something in the bottom of here. So we've got these like vintage, what are they? Like teapot, tea cooling fan, hourglass, tea plant seeds. It's all tea themed. Oh, I could make a little tea spread. That would be cute. I'll pop that back in there. And then we've also got these adorable black and white flower stickers. Thank you. This looks like Harry Potter. Oh my goodness. That's so random that we've got Harry Potter things in there. Dumbledore. He who must not be named returns. <laughs> Boy who lies. <laughs> That's so random. I love those. I love Harry Potter. That's pretty cool. What? What's inside of here? There's another little pouch. So many goodies. Okay, so we've got like these. There's like, I think there's quotes about God. So it says, God is in charge and he will always be in charge. Jimmy Davis job. To love another person is to see the face of God. I probably won't use these ones, but I would use the ones with beautiful pictures on them. And they came in this really cute pouch. So we've got some more stickers and I think they're butterfly themed. And they've all been made in these cute little pouches. So we've got these little postcard stickers. Oh no, they're bits of paper. And then what's in this one? I think these are like world maps and they're all like really tiny bits of paper. Disneyland. So these are little ticket stubs. And these ones feel like stickers, definitely. And then these ones look botanical. There has been a lot of these small rectangular stickers, but I do use a lot of them. There was just a lot in here. So we've got all of these. And then we also had these ones that came in the top. And then all of these. So it'd be nice if there was lots of different sizes because I don't know how I'm gonna use like, there's like heaps and heaps of this size one that kind of looks like postal stamps, but they are, they're very pretty though. All right, so next, I think we've got some more pretty papers. And these are like little flower ones. These are really lovely. Yeah, I could definitely use these ones. Okay, so what have we got next? Oh no, I have to rip it. <laughs> I was gonna keep all these little baggies. Oh, cute. So these big ones I can definitely use for the front of um, envelopes for mail art to write return from. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these miniature ones. I guess I can put these on like mini envelopes like this when I gift things. So I could definitely write the gift items on these ones. So yeah, I'll use these definitely. I use a lot of these anyway to put labels on things and I always need labels. <laughs> I'm sending so many things with labels all the time. So these I'll be able to use very easily. So we've got three more pouches and they look like a mix of items. So things like 
boarding pass um, little tags and then another one of these little ticket stubby looking ones then I'm not sure what these are I think these are just for crafting what does it say shake the bottle before using <laughs> that's so random okay they're kind of like um, I'm not sure like labels for bottles and stuff I think they're mainly for journaling though I think there's just that aesthetic that people are looking for we've got like those little postage stamp looking papers again these ones are botanical looking and then at the front we've got more of the like ticket stubs and boarding passes and then this one is a bit different to the rest oh and it's a larger one that's great because I need larger ones those are really pretty and the papers are so unique on these ones they're really textured all right so we have more papers these ones are stickers and again this kind of looks French um, but they kind of look like labels again so we have some more butterfly papers some more botanical stickers these are really cute quotes some more botanical um, pieces of paper and these ones these ones have a really nice texture again and they look really vintage with this pattern around the back as well they're really nice and they're Paris themed these ones whoa I have such a big pile <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of that box. Let me move that aside. So these were the larger items that were on top. So we've got this vellum envelope and these beautiful dried flowers. I want to keep this envelope like that. It's really cute. So inside the vellum envelope were <gasps> dried flowers. These are so cute. Are they in every single one? yes that's so lovely they're pockets of dried flowers that's such a lovely idea thank you and such a cute way to keep them as well also inside of the vellum envelope were these beautiful pressed flower stickers and they're transparent ones this is so gorgeous look big ones yes I use these for mail tag labels so I'm always running out so I'm so happy they've included these and then are these handmade papers oh, lovely and then bunches and bunches and bunches of these boarding pass um, like tags I love the lace that they've wrapped them in. So these kind of like memo pads with these beautiful printed, they kind of look like stamped on um, images. And then we've also got these beautiful tags to write addresses on or even to journal with. Then underneath are these as well. These kind of feel like stickers, these ones here. So you can actually peel out each one of these. And it's like perfect for planning and stick it. Um, these are perfect planner stickers because you can write the month and the year as well. That's really lovely. So there's a beautiful thank you card added. And it says, your kindness is appreciated. So I can reuse that one. And then is this a letter? <gasps> is this a handwritten letter? Thank you so much, Samantha. This letter was beautiful. I really appreciate it. Um, and I love that you watch my, um, my stationary unboxing videos. So thank you. This box has been gorgeous. A lot of love has been put into this box. And then lastly, what is this? It's a notebook. Look at all these really pretty papers. The quality of this paper is so nice. Gorgeous, thank you so much. So this also came inside of the box and I'm not sure what it is. If anyone can tell me what it is, I would love to know. <laughs> um, maybe it's just for packaging. Let me know in the comments below.
Thank you so much, Samantha, for creating this box. It's absolutely beautiful.